and here we are again and we'll keep you updated with what we are doing about what we are practicing and today we'll do in just one round a uh, four kyoden we just uh, we have been seeing these last days kyoden is a particular uh, knowledge or even method you know a knowledge which was over time converted to a method uh, from a particular um, ryu or master a kyoden is more is something which comes more from a particular master and got um, and uh, well actually over time it, it it made part it was just part of that of that grade of that school so the first one thing we'll see today is called Hane Biki Hane comes from wing and Biki from the noun Hiki from the verb Hiku which we know me, uh, means to to pull so for this kyoden we will have both katana and wakizashi and we will block with one weapon his uh, his first attack and uh, usually pierce him with the other, stab him with the other. So let's see, in this case for example he will, he will try to do a makogiri over us and what we are going to do is we'll first block him, now uh, we'll draw with our left hand which is quite unexpected for the usual yai bato techniques and so what we'll do is we'll draw and pierce. It's important to state that we do not have in our in our grade the, the usage of two swords at the same time. What we do have is our particular methods which employ which use for a particular case or situation then uh, the main weapon, the major weapon we could say, and a secondary weapon. Thus, for this reason, it's also common to first block and then pierce with the other hand. We can have the same situation now, however, what we're, what we're going to do is we will block with one hand, now the right hand with the katana, and then use the other for piercing him. You could do it here, you could do it here, you could do it here. Usually we would look for the, the arm or gaps. For the next Kyoden we will have Yamabi no Kyoden. Uh, Yamabi, Yama comes from mountain and B from he, from, from fire, so this can be interpreted as mountain of fire. So for this Kyoden we will use the Naginata and uh, what we'll do, uh, the thought behind this Kyoden is that you will lead him, will uh, conduce him, lead him to um, a sequence of at least three movements and from the third movement on uh, we, can, we can catch him, we can put him into our trap or we can end our trap. So what we'll do is, for example, this is in Inokamai, I will first, I will lead by attacking first and uh, making him uh, and uh, obligating him to defend. So I will enter and he will defend and will come to this position. So when I go, uh, when I, I enter cutting his arm upward, he takes his arm out. Yes, he protects himself and he retreats. When he retreats, he is, what he is doing is, he is visualizing, he is seeing the big picture or he is taking a safe position and getting ready to cut. So now he sees this, this gap in my position, so he enters, he comes to cut. Since this is the third movement, with the Nagata Mahai, we can avoid, we can avoid being cut, or we can prevent him to, to touch us. At the same time, we can cut him. So this was uh, Yamabi no Kyoden, and we just got him in the third movement. Let's see one more time, another example. I will enter the same way, I will cut his arm one more time, he'll take it off, now he, let's say, he, he goes back and when he comes to cut, cutting his arm, for example. So let's see, what we are doing here is leading him, it's not just a Kyoden in which um, the situation gets lose and I just find him from the, the, the third movement on. I have to, to lead him to what I am intending to do. So let's see now another Kyoden called Haru Same. Haru 
comes from spring and the same from rain. So Abu Sameh is that easy is, uh, is, is spring rain. So let's see. For this, what happens is we will be in the same position, for example, Jodan, Nokamai, or Fudikaburi, or any other, and uh, we will rise our swords together. However, although he feels we will be in IUT, we will uh, uh, shift or change our time or our speed rate and cut him before he can enter towards us. So let's see one very, the most simple example, we are in Seven of Hamai and we all to, and be together, yet ready to cut and before he can cut me, I have cut him. Let's see now, if I do a my, a application my, not just in practice my, what happens is, one more time, we are here, we rose together, so before he can cut, he is cut already. So suppose now, we are here in Inokamai, he will perform a Kesagiri. I won't evade, so he will just show us he is cut. He will enter and cut me. And one more time now, if he tries to catch me, as soon as he starts to move, I gotta get there first. It's not just your, your speed, it's um, behaving like a mirror in the first instance and then changing your speed rate. Now for the last Kyoden, we just saw today, let's understand Shita no Ho. Shita comes from downward, comes from, from down, and the whole from direction. So Shita no Ho means downward, if we take it in the most easy, the most simple way. Now, suppose he comes, he enters with a Makogiri, and uh, since I'm here, I'll get close to him and use the mine, use the upper, the non-edge part of the sword to get closer to him and even to hit in this position. It's very important to analyze that this lateral position, this side position, um, gives me a full advantage over his, his arms and his sword. So I am here first, now I will make him look upward and cut fully downward. Let's suppose now he enters one more time. Let's suppose he does, he's in second no kamai and he performs a suki. So now that I'm, I'm here, what I'll do is one more time. Now in a mirrored situation, I'll enter with the mine one more time and I'll cut. And this, this idea composes Shita no Ho no Kyo de. So this is a brief analysis of what we just studied today and uh, keeping you all updated with this uh, just before this pre-encounter in Valencia, Spain. Thank you very much.